Okay, we're up here in the uh, attic looking at the antenna farm. I'll start off with the, those two hanging PVC pipes are uh, Omnis for 1296 and 902. You can see there's a circular three half wave, basically a big wheel pattern with open wire feed on the side. And uh, 1296 has uh, five of those loops stacked. The 902 has has four. It's basically four big wheels or five big wheels stacked. And the uh, a pair of um, folded dipole big wheels uh, for 220. And you can see the uh, the splitter up there for that. On the floor, we'll start over here. Uh, this is a, a 220 uh, PA LNA combo that's powered by a switching supply over here. Pair of switching supplies here power the uh, uh, these units over here as well as these. Uh, on this side, I'll start is uh, is 144 and 432. LNA PA combos and they have uh, pre-selector filters also as, as does the, uh, the 220 that I mentioned before. Next to it is a transverter for uh, 2304. That's a 50 watt PA that's the uh, top part of it. I'll take a picture of the front of that in a second here. Uh, these filters are three cavity bandpass filters uh, passing 902 and rejecting 927 because I have, uh, in addition to the weak signal, uh, I have uh, a 927 output repeater. And here is a, uh, a single pole, a pair of single pole double throw uh, coaxial uh, switching that's remote controlled. So the two on the uh, on the top in are 902 and 1296 and each one of those can uh, select uh, two different outputs uh, one of which uh, uh, for the 902 side goes to the filters uh, cavities on the left and the other one goes to the cavities on the right on the right goes to the Omnis and on the left goes to the Yagi uh, the 902 Omni that is um, and 1296 uh, goes directly to either Omni or, or Yagi. On the floor, um, these two uh, small boxes are uh, for uh, power sequencing because when I, when I switch on the 1296 or 902 LNA PA combo, I have a, a bypass switch here for each one of those and uh, when it initially comes up uh, before it gets uh, switched in line you don't want the uh, input and the output talking so I delay the uh, the power up of the amplifier to get the, those uh, transfer relays uh, set. Over to the right of the uh, 902 and 1296 is a, is a rotator and on top top of the stack is a uh, a loop Yagi 42304 below that is uh, a log periodic uh, that's a dual band 144 432 another one of those below and yet another so there's three of those stacked and phased uh, the, the long boom Yagi's uh, the upper one is a 17 element M squared 902 and the lower one is a 22 element M squared uh, uh, 1296. Let's see. I keep a step ladder, folding step ladder up here. Antennas over here. This is a on the tripod is a 6 dB Scala for 9, 927, 902, 927. 
by the way, laying on the floor is a um, 902 Omni, horizontally polarized Omni, that's a, sl a slotted waveguide Omni that I'm not currently using. I'm using my homebrew uh, circular collinears. Uh, so this was the, the, the Scala. Uh, over here, standing up from the floor, is a 90 BDB products, uh, 927-902. Um, this is a, an X50, that's a link antenna. Uh, there's some loopers stored back here. Um, hanging here is also another uh, X50 that is a link antenna for the uh, the RF link, uh, this end of the RF linked uh, network for 902, or for 927 rather. Here is the uh, 1296, uh, the uh, X-band, uh, uh, 10 gig uh, transverter, and a 12 volt and a 25 volt power supply for that. Take a look at the back of that. Okay, here's the back of that unit, and you can see the uh, the two RG400 coaxes that come out of there travel up here to the uh, to the dish, and at the feed point, I have an LNA and a uh, and a 12 watt PA homebrew. See the horn feed there. I'm going to move to the other side of the attic. I'll continue this in a moment. Okay, I've uh, moved over to the other side. You can see another view of the dish. It has Azel control. Um, that's a uh, security camera pan tilt. Uh, actuator that I'm using for the azimuth elevation control for the dish. And here is uh, this box with the, all the coaxes and, uh, and you can see a looped uh, zip tie delay line. Uh, that's for the phase steering of the, uh, the 6 meter array. Uh, below that uh, with the heat sink on it is uh, uh, a lumped Wilkinson uh, that uh, splits the uh, the six meter into two paths. One is a shorter line than the other, so that's where I get the the the, the uh, phasing, the delay line, and then the the box above it does the appropriate switching. It's uh, IP controlled when I want to steer it in different directions. Uh, and below, there's a little power supply to power that unit. Over here is uh, another. Uh, light that I can remotely turn on and uh, and a camera to keep an eye on uh, the rotating antennas which which direction in fact they are pointed over here the uh, AC and, and furnace units uh, <clears throat> on this side I've got a network interface a switch and uh, a uh, basically a, a remote power strip for uh, remote controlling the various amplifiers uh, and uh, and rotator control that's what this box is here that's IP controlled also you can see the cat5 plugged in there to turn the dish and let's go down this way there's also this is a, a Station Master 2 for UHF that I have uh, for my UHF repeater that's, uh, that's located here. And back on this side is another X50, so there's quite a few X50s up here for uh, general uh, UHF, VHF, FM use and, and link. In the back See. 
Let's see if I can get some light on here. Okay, back here is um, a 4 to 1 HF ballon that feeds the uh, quarter inch copper tubing loop that runs around the entire perimeter of the house uh, inside the attic. So that's rated 10 kilowatt. I can, uh, I can tune through that and run power. And let's see, back over here, didn't talk about the six meter array. I mentioned the phase steering. Here you can see uh, elements on four sides basically of a square with a ferrite choke feed each one of those elements is approximately six foot instead of a, uh, a nine foot half wave fed in the center it's foreshortened because that's what will fit up here so I have uh, loading coils to resonate for uh, for six meters and then there are four feed lines that come down and go over to this uh, phase steering uh, circuitry that I talked about earlier. Earlier I mentioned the uh, combo uh, 220 for, uh, LNA PA uh, that is on 220 is driven is interface with uh, through a a homebrew uh, band split diplexer or cross band coupler that that's carries uh, one feed line carries uh, uh, 50 megahertz which uh, the IF for the 10 gig and uh, and 220 so I've got another one of those uh, homebrew down below that's uh, that band combination uh, is not available uh, with either in Comet or uh, or Diamond products. Uh, here's a better look at the front of the uh, 2304 transverter. And also a bit uh, better look at the front of the, the 10 gig transverter. Okay, and uh, lastly, uh, a little bit better look at the, uh, at the uh, 10 gig dish. Uh, that, uh, that boom arm that comes out was longer. It, it had attached to it a, uh, a commercial uh, VSAT. Uh, transceiver unit. I, I shortened it and made my own mount uh, for my my horn feed. Also fashioned the uh, the bracket that you can see up here uh, for the uh, the pan tilt unit to be used for uh, ASL control. <clears throat> 